hey hey particles hey good people how you doing <laughs> wow shining shining like an african queen hey guys welcome back to my channel my name is patricia kihoro and i am so happy that you are here now this video is an unboxing video that was shot almost three weeks ago what happened was i was using a brand new camera and while i was trying to figure everything out after shooting the video i found that i had some very very impressive sound issues who we are shooting hello <laughs> hi hi very much now the video sh footage was about two and a half hours long and there's lots of stories and things that i'm giving in the video so reshooting was not an option because also i was opening up these pro products and you know the element of surprise would have been lost if i reshot and i yeah the option of doing a voiceover just it wasn't good it was just gonna be a lot more work so what i did i scoured the internet for tutorials on how to fix sound issues and i think this was a blessing in disguise because i learned quite a lot I think I did the best that I could under the circumstances, but it's a, it's a first step in learning. So I hope you guys still get to enjoy the video. I hope this unboxing um, gives you a lot of information on new Kenyan brands that you may not have known. I am wearing uh, something that I unboxed in the video and I am glowing courtesy of something that I unboxed in the video as well. Also, I will be hosting a massive giveaway right at the end of the video. So make sure to stay tuned for that uh, because it will be featuring some of the products and brands that I featured in this video. Again, thank you so much for being here. Make sure to subscribe. It's absolutely free. Uh, make sure to like the video if you do like it and hit the notification bell so that you get notified every time I put up a new video. Thank you for being here, thank you for watching, and I'll see you right at the end for the giveaway. All right, Twenty Kazi. Who we are shooting? Hello. Hi, hi very much. I'm feeling very shy. <laughs> Rob, it's been so long since I shot a sit down video by myself. I've been sitting here for maybe five hours, honestly. Five hours, what time is it now? It's 9.18. I've been sitting here since not even five hours, six hours, from around three in the afternoon. And when I set up Vitu, I keep thinking, oh, I need to get a pen. Mm. I need to get a pin. Mm. Eye drops. Mm. I've done everything but shoot this video. So I'm just here to say hi. Hi very much. I'm doing an unboxing video. The last time I did this was sometime last year um, for the May the Vlogs Be With You series of videos that I did last May. Thank you again for being here and let's get right to it. This video is a collaboration with Visa Kenya and Visa Kenya have a platform for whatever size business, especially small and medium businesses, they have a platform where you can sign up and become a Visa merchant. And what that means is that you're able to offer your customers a way to pay by card. Basically, that means you can expand your services globally because Visa is accepted worldwide. So in a bid to always promote and endorse Kenyan brands and Kenyan businesses, I think this is amazing. I really hope that if you're a small business, if you're an artist, a creative, an entrepreneur, a freelancer, and you have services that you're offering, you would like to make it more safe, you would like to be more secure, you would like to be paper free, no money handled, then please sign up to Visa Kenya and I will put the link down below for you to be able to do that. Great! But today I am dressed in all Kenya. This turban is from Nyar Nam. These earrings, the pineapple brass earrings are from Esmerize Accessories. Can you see? Can you see? These beaded earrings are from Masai Market. My makeup, my foundation, my skin, that's MAC, MAC powder. It's not made in Kenya, but it's just MAC powder. My highlighter is from Joanna K's eyeshadow palette, and I'm using the highlighter Glow Getter. So this eyeshadow is called Glow Getter, and that's why it's just shining everywhere. My eyeshadow is from Untamed Beauty. This palette is called the Nairobi Palette, and I love it because Ikonamanjina Kama Wamlambez. Msani, Empress, Gori. So like today, the colors I used were Fafiri, I used Tea, and I used Bima, and I used Ndai. Oh, and I think I, I touched Ndom. <laughs> Nikatumia Ndom, Pia. <laughs> wow. So that's the eyeshadow palette that I used. And then my lashes are Joanna K Cosmetics Frye lashes because it's Frye. Hallelujah. My lipstick is Canvas Cosmetics in Kahawa. It's a matte finish, guys. My glow is so much. Do you know how powdered I am? And I'm still glowing. 
I've been trying to reduce my glow. Oh, this brush is from Pauline Cosmetics. My rings, Kawera Africa. This is Kipato Unbranded. These two are Maasai Market. This one is Suha Schmidt. Um, she's based in Rwanda. This is Maasai Market. This is Kipato Unbranded. And my skirt, which I don't know if you can see very well. It's so cute. It has some ruffle detail down here. This is from the Shop Kahari on Instagram. So some of these things I have purchased with my own money and some of them are PR gifts. But uh, yeah, I will let you know exactly what Zikomigi. Some of them I've had for a period of even over a month. And that just tells you about how I am able to delay my gratification because I've been looking at them and saying, Wow, I can't wait to enjoy you, but I have to film you. <laughs> so I wrote a list and we're going to go in this order because I'm very organized. And I just want to tell you that it's Friday night. Yes. I made myself a drink. If you if you don't know me by now, hallelujah. I really love grapefruit. I know grapefruit is, you know, not many people understand the hype. Not many people like the taste, they think it's bitter, they think it's overrated. But for me, grapefruit, I don't know, maybe I'm different, but I love grapefruit. Like I can crave it, I can wake up in the middle of the night and just want to sink my teeth in the slice of a grapefruit. I love tart fruits, I love bitterness. I don't have a sweet tooth, so for me, ice cream, cake, nemi, is a bit salty, I can eat once a year. But things like grapefruit, things like lemon. So last year in December, I shared a cocktail uh, that I created using Tusker cider, vodka, and grapefruit. And I called it the Dagoretti Donkey because it was my take on the Moscow menu. This is uh, grapefruit and gin. So I guess it could be like orange juice and vodka, which is a screwdriver. So this one we call uh, a what? Hammer. Nundo. This is the Nundo. Idio Nudo, Nudo Dio He, Nudo, <laughs> wow, made in Kenya. All right, so let's get to the unboxing. The first unboxing that I did, I put it on. <laughs> it is this t-shirt. If you see me looking here, I'm looking at my monitor. <laughs> I have upgraded. So this t-shirt is from Too Early for Birds. Too Early for Birds are a production company that put out amazing productions that tell the history of Kenya in ways that we haven't experienced it before. If you've never heard of them, they um, were founded by Gatia and Abu. And then um, they have a team, their producer is Gadoni. The company is Story Zetu, and they put up these amazing productions. Their most recent one was Tom Boyer, maybe you've heard of it. They did that last year in 2019. And it was amazing. I watched it twice. My mother watched it twice. Two of my uncles watched it twice. They brought my grandfather who loved it. They told the story of Tomboya as we had never heard it before. Tomboya's family went and watched it. So their productions are just so amazing. They're very popular. They've done some amazing things in the past few years. And now they have a line of t-shirts and I'm going to present that here. You can see the line. Guys, <laughs> what is this technology? Look at me, I can just say, look here. And it appears, wow. So if you would like any of these t-shirts, you can call the number that I have placed here on the screen. So this t-shirt says Kenyan, and basically what it says here is made of nyamcho, great tea, and rich history. The t-shirts retail for 1,200 shillings, and if you would like delivery on top of that, it will cost maybe an extra 100 on top, so 1,300 for these t-shirts that go to support Too Early for Birds. They had Too Early for Beats lined up for April this year, but because of COVID-19, they had to cancel. Please purchase these t-shirts and the rest of these designs. It comes in this beautiful package. It's just cute. It's like this paper and then the sticker that says T-E-F-D. <laughs> So it came wrapped in this video and this t-shirt has been sitting on that desk for a month. But today I'm going to show you the type and I love it, I love it, I love it. So the next two are by really, really good friends of mine. The first one is this honey. Honey, can't you see when your love comes over me? Oh baby, I got a depend. But this is honey from my friend Jason Runo. Runo is the guy 
who runs Because He Said So, our improv comedy show. He's also one of my oldest friends. We've been friends for the last 17 years. <laughs> so he recently started a honey selling company and he packages them in these glass jars and then he puts some fabric on top and then he put like a really cute message. So like this one says Panyops, Panyops is my nickname. Wewe na kwari, same was up, you rock. So I'll put all the details here of how you can order. Um, there's an extra cost for the glass jar, but once you pay for that, it's refillable. So after that, you just pay for the honey. Ikisha unampatia anakurutishi honey and you enjoy it. And you get these lovely affirmations from him. He's super amazing. So please buy honey. If you're a honey lover, Jason is the guy. And you can also follow him on Instagram because he does all these anecdotes about bees on his Instagram. So thank you so much, Ngash. I call him Ngash for Shike, the long story. Thank you so much for the honey, for the message. I love you. Next up is a book. This is a book that is written, authored by my friend. <gasps> ah, I'm so excited! Shiro. So my friend Wanjiro Koinange wrote a book, a whole book. So <laughs> oh my gosh. So about a week ago I posted on my Instagram about a project in Kaloleni by the book bank. Now, the book bank was founded by my friends Wanjiro Kanange and Angela Washuga. And basically, they just felt the need to renovate our libraries here in Nairobi. So the Macmillan Library in the CBD, as well as the Kaloleni branch and the Makadara branch, they've been working to renovate, reconstruct, and rejuvenate <laughs> the library scene. So they recently completed the Kaloleni branch and it looks beautiful. I shared pictures on my Instagram. I mean, the work is not complete, but they have made such progress. So I'm gonna put the details here. And Wanjiro Kainange is one half of the book bank. I've hosted them at Speakerbox before, sometime last year, and we spoke about their work. They are book lovers, they are literature enthusiasts, they are all things books. Angela Washuka is Sister Killjoy on Instagram, and there was a time where she did 100 Days of African Reads. Shiro has recently <laughs> published her first book. It's her first novel and it's called The Havoc of Choice. And I'm so excited to read this. The beautiful, beautiful, beautiful cover. Oh, the publisher is Bank Books. Wow. And it's signed. Mine is signed and it says, Oh, Patricia, I appreciate you. <laughs> I want to cry. I'm so proud of you, Shiro, because I know that she's been, she's been working on this for so long. I see that the cover design is by Belinda Kwenagi, who is her sister. I'll put all the details of how you can get it right here. Ah, oh, Shiro, I'm so proud of you. And her dedication is for my father, who made me start this book, for my mother, who made sure I finished it, and for Christine, who named it. Support your friends by purchasing their art. Don't ask for discounts, don't ask for freebies. If you can't afford to pay for your friend's art, please give them something in return if you're asking for what it is that they create. Just give them something in return, whether it's, I will spread the word, I will help you with something, are you organizing something? Just give something back in return because every time you ask a friend to give you something for free, they didn't get it for free and they still also have bills to pay. So support your friends, buy your friend's art. Next one, Style by Ruby. It actually arrived today. This is a Kitenge top, but it's an off-shoulder top. Style by Ruby has some really amazing pieces. You can check out their page. I love it. I love off-shoulder tops, and I love how my shoulders look. So I can't wait to wear this. Thank you so much for sending this through. This was a PR product. It was a gift that was sent to me. You can check out the rest of their tops here. They have beautiful designs, wrap dresses. Are we tired of Ankara Kitenge fabric? Yes. The world probably is, but I'll never get tired. I love it. I love it so much. Next up, we have Shop Meraki. So a friend of mine, Gagoni, tweeted, she retweeted a page that had posted a handbag. And she was like, oh, today would be a good day for somebody to buy me this handbag. And I was like, oh, Gagoni, you're such a good friend to me. You're so motivating. You always motivate me to work out and whatnot. So I was like, why don't I just buy her the handbag? 
So I reached out to the page and I was like, hey, is this bag still available? And they're like, yes, there's only two remaining. I'd be happy to gift you one of them if you can promote the page. And I was like, that is so kind of you. How about I also buy the other one remaining? These are not made in Kenya, but Shop Meraki is a Kenyan business. Tuna Lalua, Lalua Yote, come on. You can find it on Twitter, shop underscore Meraki. And on Instagram, it's shop, shops underscore Meraki. And it says, hey, beautiful, you are pretty awesome. <laughs> so cute, so cute. So you are pretty darn awesome. This is the bag. Isn't it cute? It's black. The white ones were sold out. So this is the bag. It has the strap so you can hang it. It's going to be a sling bag. But look at that. Isn't it cute? Bella sexy. So Shop Meraki, thank you so much for this bag. These ones cost 3500 And hopefully by the time this video is up, Gadoni has received hers because I bought one for Gadoni. And if it wasn't for Gadoni, I wouldn't have seen this. And I just think Gadoni is awesome. She's a great friend. Um, and I just wanted to brighten her day. So yeah, we are going to be twins. <laughs> There's a lady who reached out to me on Instagram. And she said that she was making these earrings using um, polymer. And I checked out her page. Her earrings were so dope. She was launching a new collection. And I'm just so excited. So these came in about a week ago. Like I said, delayed gratification. I'm opening them here with you. Look at the packaging. So the brand is called The Imperfect. I'll put the Instagram page here. <laughs> Look at technology. This is so beautiful. Look at that attention to detail. I just love this. I just love this. I love this already. Like I know I will love them. <laughs> and so I asked her if she would be okay with me also hosting a giveaway. And so she was like, yes, of course. So she sent some earrings for me and then others for me to give away. The beautiful. Beautiful statement earrings, look at that. I just want to cry because I'm just like, this is such talent. This is so beautiful. And that you thought to reach out to me to, do, to like send them to me because you thought that they would be my taste. I'm very touched. She sent four, so I'm going to be keeping two and then giving away two. Oh my goodness, so these are green. And yellow. Look at that. This is a really nice statement earring. <gasps> this is so stunning. The imperfect handcrafted in Kenya. Like even the printing of the, the brand name on this little cute box. <gasps> Woo! And they come with like a little brass ring around here. This is so beautiful. The collection is called the Bahari Collection. Thank you so much, The Imperfect. These are stunning. I appreciate you. This is the new look. So Beauty Galore have been on my radar for the longest time, but I never actually got to order anything. So a couple of months ago, I stumbled upon their page and I was like, yo, we were just DMing each other. And I was like, I want to make an order. And I picked up some things, maybe three or four items. And I noticed that in the packaging, in the box, she also added some extra stuff. <laughs> Which for me was like, wow, thank you for the gifts. So thank you so much to Beauty Galore. Beauty Galore have even a makeup palette called the Nairobi Dusk Edition, which looks stunning. Look at that. Can you see? It looks like such a beautiful palette. Okay, light is bright. Thank you so much, Beauty Galore Kenya. You can check out their page here. <laughs> so I'm going to show you the earrings that I selected for myself and then what she sent as a gift and these are also going to be part of the giveaway because I don't want to keep all of them. She sent so many things through. So I ordered, so obviously these are not made in Kenya but it is a Kenyan business. So I ordered these earrings, I like that. I'm not sure if I ordered these or if they were on the page and I saw them, but I didn't order, but she also sent these too. I love brass, so yes. I ordered these earrings. <laughs> no, I didn't order these. She sent these through as a gift. These ones were a gift. These were a gift. They're very similar to the two endo earrings, but these were a gift. These ones, which kind of mimic the Monstera leaf, but also like a face. So you can either decide it's a face or it's the Monstera. 
and I love that it kind of makes brass. These hair clips, but to be honest, I want to shave my head, so I might probably not use these. These were sent as a gift. Look at that. These are so bright and fun. <laughs> it's two women. They're nice little dresses and they have earrings on. Aren't those cute? And finally, these hoops, which are large and just everything. Look at that. I will be giving away these hoops, these beautiful flamboyant women, and these brass ones. These are so my style, but I want to share these with you. I'm not going to give you a tea, the stuff that I don't like. Nope. I love everything, but I want to share this with you. So I'm going to be giving this away. Right. Next up, we're going to go into beauty products. Beauty for the face, beauty for the body. Whew, I'm very excited about this because I know I've neglected my body. I've been focusing so much on my face and neglecting my body. So this is going to be super exciting. So first up, we have Bandari Beauty. They stock products from outside. They can ship in products. But this particular box speaks to me because it's completely made in Kenya beauty products. Let me just figure out how to open the box. Bandari Beauty is run by Maureen Bandari. The box is cute, cute. And it says, when you open it, it says, you are beautiful. And so this is the July box. The July box includes, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, and this a collaboration with New Level. New Level is Nancy Mwai's brand, so there's a discount voucher of a thousand shillings. So you get a thousand shillings off if you purchase goods worth more than six thousand shillings at New Level. I love how Maureen Bandari and Nancy Mwai and Julie Life Lover come together and bring their brands together so that people can sort of, you know, get rewards <laughs> um, from each other. So for instance, shop new level you get this discount code this discount voucher to shop at new level if you buy this bandari july box so here we have a face sheet mask with chamomile from seraphic skin buki bentonite clay hallelujah a body evolution by winnie cleanser this is clear orchid with butterfly brush extract and alan twin wow massage into the skin and rinse i can't wait to try this Beautiful. Le Ritier Shea Immortel Radiance Lotion. Hallelujah. Radiance. Radiance me now. Radiance me now. Yes. And I love that tart scent that it has. Love it, love it. And we also have the Le Ritier, I hope I'm pronouncing it right. Uh, 10 to 20 Neroli Rejuvenating Face Cream. Hallelujah. Rejuvenate me. River rejuvenation is when okay I remember that because our geography teacher was like river rejuvenation is like when you young girls come and find my sons and then you excite them and they feel rejuvenated so anytime somebody says rejuvenate I remember Mrs. Mangi of geography of form 2 my girls school movie and finally we have the coffee infused under eye cream by Vani. Hey, Atakuna Security Seal. So this July box from Vandari Beauty is entirely made in Kenya brands. Oh, this feels so good. So this entire box with all these products, one, two, three, four, five, six. So six products, so the average is a thousand per product. But then you also get this discount voucher of a thousand shillings off. This entire box is six thousand bob, and if you go shop at new level, you get a thousand bob off. Thank you so much, Pandora Beauty. Next, we have another box, Untamed Beauty. So Untamed Beauty, as I mentioned earlier, my eyeshadow is from the Untamed Beauty Nairobi palette. Untamed Beauty is owned by a namesake of mine. Her name is Wageshi. And my name is Wageshi, so we are just Wageshi, Wageshi squared, Wageshi's. This is a up in Makasi. Oh, here we go. I love this box, and I'll show you why. First of all, I love boxes that are just brown in color. So this says, handmade with love, and it also says, 
you've got great taste. <laughs> Thank you. And it also says, Posty, please deliver this to this awesome person. How sweet is that? Like, you just want to make me cry. You want to make me cry. You want to make me cry. <laughs> you want to make me cry. Oh, wow. Wow. Okay, so first of all, the packaging is bomb. This Hessian uh, fabric. I'm just going to assume this is Hessian fabric. Hessian Nile Fabrikia Gunia. So this is how they packaged it. It has African black soap, 100% natural. It has organic shea butter, 100% raw, organic, and patchy. What she told me was that this is Nilotica, like grade A Nilotica shea butter. And the thing about this Nilotica shea butter is that it's so pure, it's actually edible. And this butter comes, it's so soft and refined that you don't need to whip it. It's just like butter and it's edible. It has a buttery taste. It's light on the palate. Wow. And it's so soft. Now, shea butter is world renowned for all its amazing benefits. It's good for sensitive skin. If you have eczema for your babies, it's amazing. It's well absorbed. It's even good for keloids. It's anti-inflammatory, it can smoothen your skin, it can tighten and firm your skin. So for me, personally, myself, I'm very, very, very excited. It's very nourishing for your skin, but it's also great for your hair. It softens your hair, it allows for anti-inflammatory properties that allow your hair to grow. Yani Shea Butter is known as African Gold, and 80% of the world's Shea Butter is produced in Africa. It doesn't have too strong of a smell, but if you know how shea butter smells, it's a very familiar scent. And like I said, I'm so interested in now starting a skincare routine for the rest of my body because I've been so focused on my face. My body, so my body, like, look, you see, it doesn't look as, as moisturized um, as my face. So, for instance, you can tell that this is all sunburn. You can see that my skin tone here is pretty similar to my face and my neck, but from here on end, it gets darker because this is all exposed. I, don't, I haven't been wearing sunscreen on my body. I've just been mistreating my body. No exfoliation, no nothing. If I can just take some time to take care of my body the way I take care of my face, I feel like very soon, my body will be looking like Nomzamo. Do you know Nomzamo? I'll put a picture here. Look at that, just a buttery smooth skin, just glowing everywhere. So here we have shea butter soap, which is also very, very good for your skin. This was a black, African black soap. But I see they also threw in some lipsticks. So that Untamed Beauty palette, I purchased with my own money and I also bought a lipstick from them. So this is a gift. <laughs> I guess this is the wow, this red is so rich and beautiful. Look at that. Can you see? Opulence. Yes, this is the one I purchased. <laughs> so I have this already, if I'm not wrong. Woo! Hallelujah. This is the prayer warrior. Prayer warrior. Look at it. <laughs> I remember seeing this in the store uh, and I wanted to get it and I regretted not getting it. But it looks so stunning. Prayer warrior. And I see there's a note here as well. Oh, it's like a scroll, like an ancient scroll. Patricia, thank you for being you and supporting black and Kenyan businesses. A little something for you. Enjoy the secrets of our ancestors. Cheers. Well, I guess you... <laughs> I'm sick. Thank you so much for sending this through. I can't wait to use these products. I know they'll be amazing because my friend Renee swears by shea butter. I have made some of my own like butters using shea butter from Ghana, from Nigeria, and I can testify that shea butter is great for your skin, for your hair. Um, of course, you have to be very careful about how you use shea butter on your skin, but for the rest of your body, you know, it's super moisturizing. It's extracted from 20-year-old trees at the source of the River Nile. It's very rich in vitamin A. Is retinol a derivative of vitamin A, or is vitamin A a derivative of retinol? one of the two. Um, it's healing, it's therapeutic. If you have acne, eczema, blemishes, sunburn, rashes, it's amazing. It reduces wrinkles, 
it prevents and also reduces uh, stretch marks and it's good for use on your babies so hallelujah thank you for this magic these are their pages right here so you can find them untamed beauty and halisi beauty as well which i've included here by earth look at these guys so these guys sent me their whipped shea butter last year and I couldn't stop talking about it because it was so beautiful and melted into your skin and it had this shimmer that just made you feel like wow I'm a goddess I'm a goddess I am a goddess so they have this bag now it's the by earth bag it's a luxury self-care bag and it has so let's start it has their cookies and cream with shea butter Woo. <laughs> That's so good. <laughs> what? Hallelujah. Shea butter, cold pressed yellow castor oil, coconut oil, vitamin E oil, sweet almond oil, fragrance, and mica powder. So I think the mica powder is what gives you the good. Muliangu itakuwa any. Wow. You guys are not ready. But it smells so good. This is like smelling Sharon's candles all over again. It smells so good. And then we have the lemonade sugar hand and body scrub. Scrub. Ooh. Wow. So the lemon, the citrusy scent is so strong. It's so. Yes, lemongrass. Ooh, hallelujah. So it has cane sugar, Spanish soap, lemon essential oil, lemongrass essential oil, orange essential oil, emulsifying wax, octadecanoic acid. Hallelujah. Octadecanoic. So in Yakutumia October, Ama is it that I have to use it at the eighth hour? The eighth hour. Oh, it's a scrub. It's a scrub. I've recently started using scrubs for my body in the shower. I've been using the Avesta Life Scrub and I've been using the Fika Natural Skincare Scrub. Scrubs, I, I haven't been using scrubs on my face, these mechanical like physical scrubs. I started using chemical exfoliation on my face, but for my body because it's a bit more hard you can take it. This is fantastic. Fantastic. This is a foot soak. This is a foot soak. So whatever this is, kuna kijiko hapa. Kama ukona basin, ama ukona bathtub, ama bucket. Unachukua kidogo ya hii, unaweka ndani ya maji moto, alafu umeingisha miguu. Umeingisha ndani, alafu inakaa unasikia tu maji moto kama umeiva. This is the foot soap. This is what you use it for. I don't have a bathtub, so itambili mtumie nini? I can get one of those foot massage bubbly things. And then this is the foot cream, I would imagine. Oh. Oh. Here the smell something so nice. You just like your brain is like a reboot, a reboot, a reboot, and it's just melting in. This is so lovely. So a foot soap and a foot cream. You know what? I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna treat myself to this time. I'm gonna be here on my couch watching Showmax all day, all evening, pampering myself, doing my nails. I haven't done a pedicure in so long because you know social distancing. So I didn't go to do nail things. <laughs> And then here we have a candle and it's pink. Oh, it's such a sweet scent. Oh, it's so sweet. So by Earth sent this as a gift and there's also some roast almond chocolate in this luxury bag. So basically what they're saying is that this is all the stuff. If you order their luxury bag, this is what you're getting inside. Hey, this is a Daisha. Wow, the gift that keeps on giving. Ooh, so coconut, rum, sandalwood and bourbon. This is what I have. Then there's the chocolate and this oat milk. And then there's strawberry and cookies and cream. These are samples of all their shea, but their shea butter like mixes. I'll share these with you, I'll share these with you. Oh, but I want them, but I'll share them with you. And there's a note that says, oh, hey, gorgeous. Make happiness a priority and be gentle with yourself in the process. Do you know what else they included in this luxury bag? Bathroom slippers. I don't have bathroom slippers, so 
Yay! And a little robe. Look at that. It's satin. Ooh. Yes. You mean this one has a quite fancy. Okay. Look at me in the back. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much, Byron. Beauty and more. This is Beauty Square. Beauty Square KE. We recently hosted an IG live. So, Beauty Square is run by Kanye, and she's over in the US, but she ships in products, skincare products for the face and for the body. And last year, she sent me a beautiful package with lovely essence that I absolutely loved. She also sent me a lip gloss, some face masks. She hosted an IG Live and I joined her. And she spoke about how her and Glow With S have launched a Glow Guide. So it's a document with all information you would need when you are trying to start out a skincare routine. I wanna include that in the giveaway for this video. And when she was describing what the Glow Guide has, which you can see here, all here. It's just information on where to start, how to figure out what your skin type is, what products are good for what, what to avoid. It's just wonderful. And I was like, I'm gonna purchase that for myself, right? <laughs> so she had a new shipment of products come in this week and I ordered some body skincare products. During our live, we spoke about issues that we've had with our bodies, our skincare. She talked about body acne, back acne, and whatnot. So I purchased some products. There's a product that she had sent me last year in a PR package that I loved, and it's just gotten finished. So this was the gift. It's the Pearl Essence Radiance Perfecting Serum. And I can tell you, this works. It's a vitamin C and hyaluronic acid serum. And it actually, I noticed how bright my face it is whenever I use this. So this was a PR gift. Thank you so much for this, Kanye. And then the rest of the products I purchased. The first one, which I'm super excited about. I don't know if you've heard about a brand called Necessaire, but they launched a range of skincare products. And a lot of people say that the product that is most effective is this body exfoliator. This is what I was excited to try out. It's a multi-exfoliant. It exfoliates, it softens, and it renews. So it's a weekly multi-exfoliation treatment for skin health. Use one or two times a week or as desired. I'm gonna use twice a week. It's for all over the body. Water, sodium, glycolic acid, salicylic acid, lactic acid. So it's like an AHA, BHA inclusive. It has niacinamide. Those are the things that I recognize. It has glycerin some seed oil. I've read the reviews on this. On this, um, The first time I heard of it, Cave of Beauty, Lady Jarogia was talking about it. She really raved about this product, so I'm really excited to try it because I really would like my body to match my face in terms of being pampered. Kanye has used it as well and she said that her skin felt so soft, so soft when she used it. I also got this Advanced Clinicals Retinol Advanced Firming Cream. So this is a huge tub of a retinol cream. I read the reviews and it turns out there's people who said that this dried out their skin. But then the thing is, somebody commented and said with retinol, you know that you have to use the retinol and then you moisturize after. So the people who are complaining about their skin getting dried out, they hadn't been moisturizing after. So this big tub, I'm gonna be using this on my body. I'm, I'm gonna let you know what I think because Kanye hasn't used it either, but I kinda just wanna pamper my skin because retinol is good for collagen production. It's good for cell turnover. It's not an exfoliant. It's not something that guaruzas your skin. It's more about building up your skin. So I can't wait to use it. I'm gonna be using this first when I get out of the shower. And then after that, I use a body butter that's like a shea body butter, coconut oil, something that can seal in the moisture. Advanced Clinicals Vitamin C Serum. Vitamin C is good for brightening your skin. It doesn't lighten, it brightens. So it makes your skin sort of, if, if your skin looks dull, how can I explain it? Like if your skin doesn't look like it's glowing, basically it's gonna enhance that glow. It's gonna make your skin glow. But anything with vitamin C does that. So this is a huge bottle which I'm excited to try on my body. It has vitamin C and it has ferulic acid which supports a luminous, beautiful radiance. Another, I would say, beauty product. So this is from 
I don't know how to pronounce this, but I'll say Tamar. Tamar or Tamar. This is nail polish. These guys make nail polish. They have regular nail polish and they have gel nail polish. They sent me an email and asked me to choose some colors. So Mimi, kusema kweli lili chagua sile majina ambaso ni stuck Kenya. So they have Nairobi. This is a regular polish and it's called Nairobi. This is Mombasa Raha. It's a nice deep shimmery blue. There is Watamu Tamu. I really love turquoise and teal. So these, especially for my toes, I love this. So this is Watamu Tamu. And then these are gel polishes. I feel like I can carry this with me to Lux and we'll use this. So I selected Sandy Diani, which is like a green. And I selected Shella, which is a beach in Lamu. And it's a nice peach color. So thank you so much, Tamar, 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 I don't know. Tamar nail polish. Thank you so much for sending these through. I know it's taken a while before I unbox them, but it's because I wanted to do this. Um, of course, I'll put all their details, which are on this bag, also over here. Thank you. Something from DIY with Jojo. So, DIY with Jojo is Joanne, but she goes by Jojo. And she started her channel just over a year ago. She actually celebrated one year and she does really dope content. She shows different places in Nairobi where you can go shopping for the core items, whether new or thrifted. She started doing this thing where it's like live shopping with Jojo and she'll go to places like Ikomba and then if you join her at a certain time, she'll post on her stories these items that you can purchase. Some of them are secondhand, some of them are new, um, but they're all just pretty dope. So one day I happened to come across her stories as she was doing a live sale. And let me tell you what I found and purchased. And these have also been here for a couple of weeks. <laughs> The first thing that I got was this garlic crusher. Look at that, how sturdy is that? So it's a metal garlic crusher and the handles are pretty. They're rubber or silicone and this looks so sturdy. I had bought something similar but it was plastic from Muscle Blood and I thought it was so cool. But siku moja lafiki yaku na kubuzake zote akakuja akafinilia ikabujika. So I don't think this is gonna break because it feels pretty. Pretty sturdy and I'm excited about this. The second item that I got from the life sale with Jojo was this candle stick holder. So it's brass and she told me that it would need some cleaning and I was like girl I got it all. I got I have the I have the cleaner I have the cloth I use the cleaner for my jewelry so I'm good send it over and I'm so excited that I have this. As you can see, this is slightly bent, but I like the character and I feel like this is such a cool thing for candles. It's like a mini candelabra and I'm so excited. And so I'm gonna polish it with my brass cleaner and then I'll show you what it looks like once I clean it in a different video, but how beautiful it's this. And I think it was maybe 800 volt. It's so solid, it's pretty heavy. I can feel it and I'm so excited to have this. So, hey, new dog, hey, it does harm on me. DIY with Jojo. I'm gonna put those details right here and you can find her on YouTube and Instagram. Follow her, she's pretty dope. Or else, or else. Ah, my favorite, favorite, favorite. So excited. Um, I was watching the Cultured Cows stories and she did this time-lapse unboxing of a print of Nairobi that she got and hung up in her house and I was like, I want that. So I reached out to the page that she tagged, it's Prince KE, and I was going to purchase it, but they reached out and said, oh, we would love to send you whatever you would like from our page. So I selected this Nairobi Kenya map. You've probably seen something similar on some sponsored Instagram posts, but they have purchased the print and they are allowed to print it out. So this is a mount, it's not a framed print. Uh, Shiro, the project cow, got a framed print of an A0. Mine is an A1 size. Is it? Or is it A2? Uh, this is A1. Because A2 is half, then A3. No, this is A2, then A3 is half, and then A4. So this is an A2 print, and it's mounted, so it doesn't have frames, and it's of Nairobi. So this was the PR gift. My brother was instantly able to recognize Ngong Road, Langata Road, 
this is a long road. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't know. He's, he told me, we sat down and we looked at him and was like, yeah, this is Ngong Road. And then he showed me Bakati Way and I was I got confused. Now I'm confused. But this is Nairobi for sure. I wanted to purchase a couple of other prints. So I got this sun and moon for my bedroom. They do clarify on their page that these prints are paid for. So they're not actually stealing prints off of Pinterest or anything and they're printing and selling. So thank you so much Prince KE. The quality is quite good. I like it very much and I'm very grateful. So that's it for the unboxing. Thank you to all these amazing brands. This was in collaboration with Visa Kenya. So if you're a small or medium sized business, please, please log on to visa.co.ke and see how you can apply to become a Visa merchant. And that means you're able to allow your customers to pay by card. And that is a convenient, safe, way of receiving payments you don't have to deal with money um, you are verified so your customers can trust you customers are able to track their payments if you'd like to be convinced as a small business owner you can check out Joanna Kay's stories I'll put the link to her video it's actually an IGTV where she talked about how Visa Kenya came to for her so it's gonna be in the description box below so you made it to the end of the video thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you learned about some brands some people some amazing businesses so the giveaway whew, it's going to be featuring these brands by Earth, Bandari Beauty, and in the Bandari Beauty uh, box, these are the brands that will be featured in the giveaway. Le Ritier, uh, Seraphic Skin, Buki, Vani, and Body Evolution. We'll also have Thamar, Thamar <laughs> Nail Polish. We have Wanjiro Koinange's book, the Havoc, the Havoc of Choice. Joanna K Lashes, Untamed Beauty Lipsticks, The Imperfect Earrings, Thicker Skin, and Beauty Galore Kenya. So those are one, two, three, Ooh. one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 14 brands and businesses featured in this massive giveaway. Two people will get to win, <laughs> um, what do I call them, hampers. What I'm going to do is I'm going to round up all these products and then divide them into two. To win these hampers, one, of course, you have to be subscribed. Two, kindly, kindly just go show these brands some love. Of course, I've, I've, I've given all the details of where you can find them on Instagram. So do make sure to go give them some love on their pages. Just give them a follow. Three, let me know what are some of your favorite Kenyan brands. You know, it doesn't have to be brands that I mentioned in the video, but just list, comment below and let me know what are some of your favorite Kenyan brands so that maybe I can do another unboxing um, in the future because I like to shop from Kenyan brands. That's it. And then I will let you know in the description box below when I'll be announcing the winner um, and how I will be picking a winner as well. So yeah, you don't have to go into telling me why you deserve it or giving like, guys, if you don't win this giveaway, don't worry. I'm planning on hosting a lot more giveaways, especially featuring Kenyan brands. Of course, where you shop matters and I am so big on supporting Kenyan brands, made in Kenya, as well as Kenyan businesses, especially medium-sized, small and medium-sized businesses. See you in the next video. Bye.